Hi, everybody. Welcome to Molyneux. I'm Martin Tyler. He's Alan Smith alongside me. Premier League football for you very shortly. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers against Manchester United. Yeah, thanks, Martin. I think both teams here are going to be positive. They are set up to attack, so I'm expecting a few goals here today. I don't want to put the mockers on, but I am expecting a few. Well, there are players here who stand out a bit. These two in particular, I think, today, Alan. Well, I think both of these players should come into this match with their confidence brimming, really, because uh, they really have played well. They've uh, led from the front. the way Wolves set out for this vital fixture. Rui Patricio starts in goal. Leander Dendonka plays with Willy Bolli, the central defenders. Tramutinho plays alongside Ruben Neves in midfield. And today, it's just the one striker in the side. Thank you. Enjoy this you is then the Manchester United lineup. David De Gea starts in goal. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire at the back. Paul Pogba plays alongside Fred in midfield. And they just go with the one striker up front. So the first touch, and the ball is in play. Off we go. Intercepted well. Read the play well to intercept. It's Origi. And here's Paul Pogba. Bolly. Pressure to absorb high up the pitch. Now Paul Pogba. Then in the shot go. Well, the keeper's got that. Associated Manchester United with a never say die spirit in terms of that 1999 Champions League final with those two late goals from Sheringham and Solskjaer to beat Bayern. That was close and well hit too. Yeah, he really did get the laces behind it. Pogba. Jimenez. Well, they had the runner going through and the pass wasn't quite right, was it? It was too strong. Maguire. Well, you could see what he was trying to do, but he couldn't execute it at all. Now Marcus Rashford. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Well, space to get the cross in. Throw in here. Gian Moutinho. Aim for those in the middle. But he clears the danger. Fernandez getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Well, plenty of speed, but not much organisation. And the ball lost at a crucial time. Opportunity in a wider area. Making sure there's no turnover. Let's go back to Manchester United. Getting on for two decades now since he's given the free kick. It's in a really threatening position, too. They've been playing some good football, and if he can tuck away this free kick, that's going to do them yeah. no end of good. Rash can put them in front here. To the rescue, and how. Excellent interception. 
Stayed through. Played in the clear. He's through here. Goalkeeper can only... Oh, it's a great goal! In the end, it was a tap-in, and the goalkeeper parried the ball into his path. Well, you can get 20 goals like that a season if you think that quickly in and around the box. Wolverhampton Wanderers have this lead. And there's the interception. There's still a bit of life in this first half, Alan, but... In on goal, there's no flag. Real chance now. Super reflexes from the goalkeeper. Swung in from the corner. Got to get it over the first man defending, and they haven't done that from the corner. Now Marcus Rashford. Chance for a break in numbers. Still countering here. Well, that's worrying. That could be a muscle injury being closed down here. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. Well, this could be dangerous in a wide position. And that's out for another throw. Juan Moutinho. Jimenez. And the defender has blocked the cross, and he's done it well. Has indicated there will be a minimum and that's the referee's decision. Minutes. Two added minutes. A chance to break away now on the counter. Mares. Well, that counter-attack didn't work, and they might be counter-attacked themselves now. And that's half-time, signalled by the referee, 1-0. Setting the ball rolling for the second half, Manchester United. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Threads it through. It's broken down, and they'll have to try again. United's corner. Well, they are behind, so it's time for a change. They've got to try and improve their performance somehow. Mares. He's aiming for the front post. Was dropping in, and the goalkeeper made sure it didn't by tipping it over. In goes the corner. Lindelof. He's one possession. Dealt with the danger. Well, coming up for you on EA Sports, the next Premier League fixture for the hosts. They've been trying to do this, get the ball over the top. He's going to try it! Oh, he's missed the target. Eric Bailly. Uh, what about Manchester? Trying to steer it through. Bruno Fernandes! And Manchester United are level. Oh, the writing had been on the wall. Well, it was a decent move, and to get some space in a crowded penalty area. So, away we go at one all. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Well, he tried to find his man, but he's only put the ball into touch. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Good, clean tackle. He's made the interception. They have spent the big bucks, Barcelona. Yeah, about 75 million. That is a really positive move. I think it's vital that he settles down quickly at his new club. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. Well, he took that chance away really clinically to put his team on level terms. So we'll see if they can move on now and get the win. Great chance to go in front, 
David De Gea with the save, a magnificent save. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. But poor play at the end of a promising move. It's going to be a substitution here for the home side. Read the play well. Incisive pass. Origi. Looks to shoot. And a goal, and they've taken the lead through it. Well, it's a classic example of the attacker being on his toes, the defenders trying to react, and they're too late. The Wolves need to find some fight because they're behind. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Don't want to be caught betwixt and between here, Manchester United, just inviting pressure as they defend this lead. Well, history tells you that they don't normally sit back, but this is a slightly different United side. That's a missed opportunity on the counter-attack. Origi, he's had a... real go it's a decent effort that with plenty of sting in it yeah not far away he really did visit didn't he coming onto the pitch number 16 Williams now the countdown is to 10 minutes left Daniel put in he's tipped in over the top oh what a miss well what a chance for an equaliser that was and I think the tension got to him Tightened up. Now Lingard. Tackled well. Players do get lifted by supporters, by crowds, and this lot are doing their very best to urge their team on in search of this equaliser. Push back out into play. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. And this could bring them level. He's done well to keep that out. Well, a corner, it's a chance to get level in this match. Later on, it's an important corner, this one, you feel. It is a goal. Reflected by a defensive boot there. Extraordinary game here. Two very well-matched teams. And they're trading goal for goal in the game. Three minutes of time. It's Lingard. Jean Moutinho. Well, that's over the top of the defender and one to chase. Maybe a chance. The keeper back into play. There it is, the referee is the brother. In on goal, there's no flag. Oh, hi there. I've just got a couple of questions about the match. That'll be all, thank you.
Hello again, everybody. Welcome to you all. Welcome to Old Trafford, the home of Manchester United. I'm Martin Tyler. He's Alan Smith alongside me. Premier League football is coming right up for you. Manchester United, and they take on Crystal Palace. I think the first 10 minutes might tell us how this match is going to pan out. Who can gain the upper hand? Who can get hold of this ball and ask all the questions? Luke Shaw. Well, a strong character in the Manchester United lineup and a strong competitor as well. Well, four in his last three games. You can't better that. Number eight, one. And number nine, Anthony Martial. This is then the Manchester United lineup. Lee Grant starts in goal. Phil Jones starts alongside Axel Tuenzebi at the back. Emmanuel Matic plays with Andreas Pereira in central midfield. Only one up front in terms of a out and out forward. Thank you, Old Trafford. Enjoy the game. A wonderful sense of history here at Old Trafford, which attracts a lot of tourists as well. Statues of Bess Lauren Charlton outside the ground, the Munich Tunnel paying uh, respect to the awful air tragedy back in 1958. Yeah, it reeks of history, doesn't it? And uh, not only the United players, but visiting ones too would be well aware of uh, this famous football club and this famous football ground. Sure. Now looking for Juan Mata in the middle. The chance to put in a decent cross, but he's actually put in a wasteful one. Throw in to come. Well, I guess he was aiming for a team. Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. Side there by the keeper. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. Nemanja Matic. We can hear now from Alan McAnally at Vicarage Road, and there's been a goal, Alan. It's a goal for Watford. 11 minutes played, 1 0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Manchester United. They've got a decent result. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attack in the chase. Martial! And there it is! Well, two against the goalkeeper, and they managed to stay on side and worked it perfectly, really. Yeah, they did, and players of this standard should be able to work it perfectly. And uh, the pass was released at just the right moment, taking the keeper out of the equation. It's Manchester United in the lead. Slipping it through. He's through here. Martial! An excellent chance, more than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any knockdowns as well. Read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Joel Ward. Mata. Giving it away, Anthony Martial. Everything about Manchester United still seems to revolve around post Sir Alex Ferguson, who achieved so much. And we always felt, Alan, didn't we, that it would be very difficult in the years after he stood down as manager. Yeah, I mean, he's left a huge... Lovely ball from Mata. Here's Matic. Really in the 
they're clear now. And the keeper's done well to keep that one out. Here's the goal from Watford from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for West Ham United. 30 minutes played, 1-1. One, one. We're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Now there is some space in the wide area. Oh, he's through. In the clear in front of goal. He's gone too early, he's offside. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. And the ball's got away from him. Throw in here. Anthony Martial. Matic. Matic! Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. In goes the corner. Good defending. Dealt with a decent cross. Well, it's OK for Manchester United at the moment. They've got the lead as this first half draws to a close. But there's a lot of work still to do. Dealt with the danger. Found good room out here. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. He's got some room out here in the... Official has indicated that the defenders really trailing now. Team. Here's a chance. Martial! He's met that so sweetly on the volley. Well, he's met it so close, it's untrue. It's flew into the net. Takes a lot of concentration, this kind of volley. And look at him, eyes fixed firmly on the ball. Gets it all right here. Restarting at 2-0. Goal for Manchester United. Number nine. And there goes the whistle for half time. The scoreline is 2 0. The second half is off and underway. Read the play well to intercept. James MacArthur. Read the play well. Just to return to the subject of Manchester United in these post-Ferguson years have still been difficult. They have been difficult, just trying to find a different... Good vision from Mata. Martial. Incisive pass. Well, that should be the game. You could call it another insurance goal. Surely they can't throw it away here. Well, that could be the game for Manchester United. Should be the game. Well, you don't often see them let this kind of lead slip. Manchester United want to make a change now. And here we go again, and they can't wait to get the ball back from the kickoff and try and get another one. Well, let's hear from Alan McAnally about a goal at Molyneux. It's a goal for Wolverhampton Wanderers. 57 minutes, please. 1-0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Now, can he take them on? Could be a cross here. Could be dangerous. And the referee spotted that deflection. He's pointed for the corner. But here comes the corner. Only partially away from danger. And the keeper stops that. 
And then he went, just diverted it away. It's a real opportunity to get it into the middle. Catching practice indeed for the goalkeeper here from that poor cross. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture. A real opening for him. Oh, he's hit it too hard, really, and lost his range. Well, that is a total miscue. So we're going to see a double switch now. As always, Alan McAnally is out and about for us, and he's seen us sending off today. It's a red card for the visitors. They're down to ten men. 69 minutes, please. It remains 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Zaha. Oh, a bit of finishing practice required at the next training session, I think. Yeah, definitely. Back to the drawing board. I think we all knew deep down, Alan, that this was a deal that was going to be done. It's, they've taken their time getting their man, but they've got him. This is how they love to play on the break. An excellent chance, more than matched by the goalkeeper, who's diffused the situation. Oh, great agility, great reflexes there, and uh, denying the opposition any the knockdowns as well. He's looking for the cross. That's a good idea with the pass. No advantage here, the referee stopped it for offside. He's going to make a change now. Now Anthony Martial. Matic. Mata. Put into the middle. It's a save with a degree of comfort, Alan. Yeah, that was never going to finish up a goal. And that's a corner for Manchester United. And defender can get it upfield. 3-0 now, almost over. And this should have a good impact on the next game, Alan. Well, Manchester United go up against Southampton after this, and, uh, and they've certainly done the job out here, and I'd be confident of doing it again in the next one. Really in the clear now. Got to keep his nerve here. That's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Well, they didn't test the keeper the second time like they did the first, but either way, he's done his job and kept the opposition out. Well, he's on fire, isn't he, this keeper, and the opposition must be wondering what they've got to do to beat him. Test of his control now. It's a good press from the team that have won the ball here. Just one minute the left on the clock. There will be a minimum of two crowd, minutes. Uh, maybe expected a bit more, but it's two added minutes. Good defending. And the referee blows for one last time. He's got it in behind the defenders for the attacker to chase. Just a couple of questions for you.